to the vlog. Excuse my hair, I just put a box tie in it, but I am on my way to Bali. I am so excited. I am so I hate vlogging in public. So I feel like everyone's looking at me like right now and I'm going so red because I'm so embarrassed. And you probably can't hear me that well. But I'm just in the airport now. Um, it is currently 20, 10 to 1. My flight's at, is it 10 to 1? Yeah, my flight's at 20 past 2. But I'm the person who sits and waits um, anxiously. So I think it's boarding at... 25 to 2 and then the gate closes at 2 but I just I'm that type of person I have to be here like at the 8 um, I can't like wait around or be pottering around I won't relax um, I just get so anxious um, even especially when I was coming home from Greece I when I missed the ferry and I was actually at the gate so yeah a bit extra anxious now but um flying into Dubai and then going from Dubai to Bali and I keep touching my face and my skin is so bad and a really bad breakout um but I'm really excited and I'm gonna try and keep you up to date on my travels. Landed in Bali. So excited. So, 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 so excited. Oh my god. morning everyone it is saturday morning in bali and i cannot sleep um well i haven't been able to sleep since three o'clock this morning something woke me and i haven't got back to sleep since and i'm presuming it's jet lag so i haven't came on here since basically leaving home but i'm settling in fine there's something roaring outside. I'm sessioning in just fine. I went to Finn's Beach Club last night. There was um, a DJ playing, um, but I didn't drink because I don't really want to drink over here, to be honest. Um, I said it on my Instagram stories. Yeah, I just don't want to. I drank enough in Greece. Um, and yeah, I just don't really want to. In saying that, I could end up drinking. I don't know. But the plan is not to. Um, I just don't want to. I don't need it on nights out, you know what I mean? Um, I have so much fun without it, so yeah. Um, please excuse the head on me as well, by the way. Um, I have been up since 3am. Um, but I'm just going to vlog as much as I can this week of Bali. Let you know how I get on. I'm going to join. I'm thinking of joining a Muay Thai gym, starting Muay Thai. That would be exciting. exciting. Sophie, you would be proud. Um, and yeah, I just want to start new things, meet new people, and work 
and train you to sleep for me to meet new people, do some traveling. Yeah. So I am bringing on as much as I can of my week and get this up. That's where Soma Fight Club is, so that's where the Mai Tai is on. So I'm gonna go in there afterwards, but we're doing an office session this morning. What day is it today? Saturday? Sunday. Today's Sunday. It is nice, it's really good. I'm gonna buy a monthly pass there tomorrow and I'm also gonna call into Soma right now and ask them about the Mai Tai because I really want to do that as well. It's ideal that they're both beside each other as well um, because in Bali, every street looks the exact same. So like, honestly, it's so hard to get your bearings because everything looks the exact same. But um, I have a bit of work to do when I go home, get something to eat and then we're gonna go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone is keeping well. 
Uh, let me see, just fix this. I need to order a tripod to here. I'm going to order one to here on Amazon and hopefully it'll come. Um, hopefully the light is okay. Um, but I'm just back from the gym there. We trained upper and the gym is really good. It was my first day at the gym and I really, really enjoyed it. But I have been feeling really, really, really anxious. Like, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice and stuff or if you can tell. But I'm really, like, unsettled. Um, really, really unsettled here. And last night, just as I was going to sleep, um, there was like a torch shining in on my window and I don't know who it was and I called the owner of the place where I'm staying and my friend had previ previously stayed here as well like it's absolutely gorgeous here like um, and she came down and so did her husband and I was just really like scared like you know I was like what the hell like obviously I'm a girl staying on my own but I have like loads of neighbours like literally right beside me in rooms right beside me so like I do feel like as in well I don't know do I feel that safe after what happened last night um but like there is people near me you know what I mean um so hopefully like if nothing happened like I know, like, I was saying it to other people and they're like, maybe you should just move out. But I was like, oh, like, I'm actually, I actually really like it here and I found my bearings and stuff like that. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. I If I do feel, like, unsafe here in the next, like, two to three days, I will move out. Um, But I've been finding it, finding it really difficult to settle here. Like, I am very on edge. I'm very anxious, but... Um, I suppose I have just moved halfway across the world and that is normal, Do you know, it's normal to feel like this. Um, so I'm just going to go easy on myself and give myself a chance. I put a lot of pressure on myself to like meet people straight away and to be doing loads of things straight away and like it's fine, like I don't have to, you know, be doing loads of things, meeting new people all straight away like I just feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to put myself into things you know what I mean like to be like to meet friends like yeah like pushing myself to do loads and um there's just no need either to do that so I'm gonna give myself breathing space and I'm going starting my Thai tomorrow morning so that that's exciting um i have my first scooter driving lesson on tuesday um so that would be fun and i'm going to like a women's circle thing tomorrow evening so hopefully i'll meet some people at that um i have sheena here which is absolutely amazing she's been so good as well um she leaves in like three weeks but yeah i just wanted to be real with he, with everyone um, on how I'm feeling and hopefully this feeling will pass. Thank you.
hope everyone is keeping well. So it is a couple of days later and um, I went to my first Muay Thai class yesterday and it was so, so, so hard, but so, so, so good. Um, so I joined, um, was completely out of my comfort zone. I was the worst in the class. So like, you know what I mean? Pushed myself completely out of my comfort zone. Like I'm not half as fit even if I, I'm not half as fit, even if quarter as fit as some of them inside there. Um, but it's a challenge and I said once I came to Bali I would push myself out of my comfort zone um, as much as I possibly could and that's what I'm doing and I actually really, really enjoyed it. So I'm excited for the challenge ahead and um, that's where I'm going now this morning. Oh, I went to a women's circle last night, it was absolutely unreal it was basically this girl mary rose her name on instagram is coaching with mary rose she's from ireland um and she's just said that like she would have liked something like that when she first came to bali so it was nice kind of hearing that other people felt uncomfortable when they first arrived and stuff like that and they found it really hard to settle in I find I found that really comforting because obviously I was finding it really difficult to settle in. But I think knowing the fact that other people were finding it hard is making it easier for me, if that makes sense. Um, and I do feel a lot more at ease, which is so, so, so nice. And after the women's circle last night, it was like meditation and we did um, journaling and things like that. And it was just so, so, so nice. So, um, forever grateful for that women's circle and for Mary Rose doing that for us um it was so 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 nice and it put me way more hello everyone Denise and the girl and we just finished class um me I'm a girl called Sinead Sinead introduce yourself So good. They're the overnight oats from Soma. So so good. 